Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, that's just your. I mean, is, if that's what the way you want to do it, I mean, that's you know, it's fine. But I, that is the way you're going to do it. I just think you should maybe think about doing it a different way. Can we talk about to, I, Well, I mean, it's my opinion. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, just saying. It's, it's, your opinion. it's my. Um, <laughs> good work. Yeah. Hello there. I'm talking to you from the rehearsal space for Mappa Monday's production of Oliver Goldsmith's play, She Stoops to Conquer. Now, Oliver Goldsmith was born in 1730 or 1731. He was of Irish stock and proud of his... So, no arguments. I'm um, sorry, could you just... Could you keep it down? I'm doing... With, can be quiet? Quiet. Thank you. He was proud of his... He was proud of his Irish roots. He studied medicine and the literary arts, as well as dancing jigs and complaining about the potato harvest. He studied in Dublin and Edinburgh and wrote a great many essays and plays, and also spent time with the great figures of his age, the diarist Samuel Papis and Napoleon. Um, I write as well, actually. Uh, poetry, mostly. Not published, as yet. <laughs> As Goldsmith wrote many essays, plays, the novel The Vicar of Dibley, The Vicar of Wakefield, She Stoops to Conquer, and another play. When She Stoops to Conquer was first performed in right. 1773, Where do you want the pea gravel? it was. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, are you, uh, are you talking to me? Yeah, oh, come on, I've got the van outside. D I, I don't want any gravel. You ordered it. I didn't order anything. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Look, I'm, uh, you must have me confused with someone else. I'm, I'm doing a piece to, to, to camera um, about um, She Stoops to Conquer. It's a production by Mappa Mundi. It's going to be touring. Um, Mappa what? Mappa Mundi. It's a play, She Stoops to Conquer. It's going to be touring. Oh, very nice. The gravel? No, I, I, I don't yeah, want yeah. any gravel. Wait a minute. All right. Not a big okay. fan of She Stoops, to be honest. All right. Okay. Improbable plot. Mm. Not a great title either. Provoked by a couplet by John Dryden. The prostrate lover when he lowest lies, but kneels to conquer and but stoops to rise. Oh, so you, you've read. Now, the bow stratagem, now, that did make me laugh. Uh -huh. yeah. Mrs. Sullen, she's a real character. <laughs> yeah. Scrub, he's a real uh, cheeky chappy. Gibbet, the highwayman. Mm. Gravel. <laughs> Gravel. No, I don't recall him in the bow stratagem. No, no, where'd you want it? I, I just dumped it outside stage door. But I... Oh, uh, right. Uh, can, I just, can I just pick it up? Is that, um, right. Uh, where was I? First performed, 1773. First performed, when uh, She Stoops to Conquer was first performed in 1773, many thought it base and crude. They expected something far more sophisticated than a farce uh, based on class and mistaken identity. Hi, uh, sorry I'm late. I couldn't find the place, and then I couldn't find anywhere to park, and then I realised I'd left all your details at home. <laughs> Do I know you? Piscean, right? Look, I'm in the middle of something here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I like meeting new people. I'm Kate, by the way. Kate. 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 There it is. That's my name. Kate. <laughs> I like Indian food. Do you? Well, um... Uh, Kate. Kate. Yes. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, here we go. Well, uh, you don't look much like your picture off the website either. Oh, no, no, look, I, I'm, I'm doing a piece to camera about Mappa Mundi's upcoming theatrical tour of She Stoops to Conquer. Oh, yeah, that old chestnut. Look, just one date, please. No strings. I'm sorry. Please. 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 It's really hurt. I'm sorry. She's gone yet. She's still there. Okay. Uh, class of mistaken identity. Mappa Mundi present uh, She Stoops to Conquer, a play 
about class and mistaken identity set in a country house. It's you, isn't it? In that thingy. It's you. It's him. What? <sighs> All right, I suppose. I suppose you might have seen me in a couple of things, yes. Do you think we could have a photo? Please. <sighs> have we got time? All right, of course, of course. Smile. Magda's going back tomorrow. It'll be a great souvenir. <laughs> Can't wait to tell my mum. She loves you in EastEnders. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not in EastEnders. I'm in my family, the, the sitcom. <clears throat> Mappa Mundi, she stoops to conquer a play about class and mistaken identity set in a country. Oh, hang, on, hang on, we're running out of um, time. We've got to cut this here. What? Gotta move on to the next scene. Oh, oh this right. is this is ridiculous. Look, Robert there. Lindsay would not stand for this. Nor the tall one who went off and did the the BT adverts of when everybody says he's funny. Yet, can you believe this? Well, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I do telly work. I mean, these people mostly do theatre. I do telly. I mean, I've just I haven't got through a single take yet. I mean, come on, people. You wouldn't expect me to just bash into your lights or something like that, would you? And you're putting me off as well. You're putting me off. Would you? 